Thursday night in Grand Forks, North Dakota defeated Idaho 68-62 in Big Sky Women's Basketball. With Greg Steeman, I'm Dan Hammer, and this is your Midco Sports Network post-game wrap. Very strong second half by UNE to close out the Vandals. It really was, I think it loosened up and relaxed, and the offensive end did a nice job of attacking a very, very soft and sagging Idaho defense. They did a nice job of attacking at the rim and really sparked by Leah Zoblin in that second half. Without a doubt, she was one of four UND players in double figures. As we take a look at the highlights in the first half, North Dakota going to work with Emily Evers working in the paint for second chance points. Yeah, following things up in transition, very active. A lot of rebounds to be had in the first half, a lot of missed shots. Megan Lauf had to wait to the second half for her first convert. Kyla Dyer with a good defensive play here and the block. And of course, Christina Salvatore, what a long range threat she was on Thursday night. Yeah, 5 of 11 from three point. Boy, if you took your eyes off her, she made you pay. Maya Lloyd, though, going to work where she works best, getting into the lane and scoring off the glass. And then Evers a factor again. Yeah, very active. I think, I believe, eight rebounds in the first half. A lot of those on the offensive end. Geraldine McCorkle had a strong game for Idaho as McCorkle and the Vandals. Uh, Played a very tight first half with North Dakota. Dyer hits North Dakota's first three point field goal attempt after missing the first 10. North Dakota led 27 26 at the half. Leah Zabla sparking North Dakota in the second half. So did Maya Lloyd. Yeah, offensive glass. She cleaned that one up, but then nice find as Ford for Idaho got off to a great start. Chases down her own miss, make, makes it, gets to the free throw line. She sparked them early in the second half. Allie Ford, nine points all in the second half. Leah Zabla scored 11 of North Dakota's 13 points at one stretch of the second half. Yeah, and did it. We saw her hit the three, then she got to the rim. Nice job there with the left here in transition. She finds Maya Lloyd for the easy basket. Lloyd leading North Dakota with 20 points. Zabla had 14 of her 16 in the second half. Makayla Dyer in double figures with 13, as well as Emily Evers with 11 points and 10 rebounds. And here are the final numbers brought to you by Williston Economic Development. North Dakota shot just 31% in the first half, but 53.3% in the second half. And what helped is they had a lot of good action, a lot of action to the rim, had some layups, some easier shots than what they were able to create for themselves in the first half. Credit to the coaching staff and the adjustments they made at halftime. This game was a matchup of the top two rebounding teams in the Big Sky. North Dakota with a seven rebound advantage over Idaho. So UND now with back-to-back -back league, league wins and back on track at 4-2 and two in the conference. That's exactly what they needed. They started it with a win on the road at Northern Colorado. They came home and kind of kept that going. They have another chance to continue to do that against another top team in the league. And that's Eastern Washington. UND and Eastern Washington, 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon here inside the Betty. With Greg, I'm Dan. That's your Midco SN Post Game Wrap.